just to show. Okay. This is fire. Okay, it's white chocolate mocha with caramel and vanilla. Bit a belt. Put them on like seat belt. Look at my to Belgian. Welcome. <laughs> And it's dropping this piece and welcome back to another video where today it is another week later from the star studded week and i am so grateful for all the love and support that you guys gave me throughout the week and i did not realize how much like i mean love i'd be getting coming back and it just it really means a lot to me and so i'm gonna keep it pushing this is the inspiration i was talking about i needed i needed it i needed it okay it's actually Halloween. Happy Halloween. This is going on. This is going out after Halloween. And so today's video is going to be folklore stories since, you know, it's Halloween. So we're going to drop that creepy music in right now. Okay. And do some storytelling. Now, some of these stories are based off of information that I've been told over the years. So if they are wrong, please check me in my comment section. I would love to hear your opinions about all these stories. The first story, which in this case is about Bloody Mary. Now, this story- no, okay, wait. First off, I know I'm in my car. The lighting's better in my car than in my room, in my setup. I look trash, you can see my acne, you can still see my acne. Even though, like, you see, like, patches of lighting, and if I move, like, it gets darker. But, I don't know. I think natural lighting's always better. So, I'm sure everyone knows the story of Bloody Mary. If you don't, I'll give you a quick gist. Basically, what the big thing was, at least when I went to school, was like, you went to the bathroom, you shut off all the lights, you turn on a candle, and basically you said like, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, kind of like, you know, like the Beetlejuice kind of thing. Now, this, of course, is not just a regular like thing that just popped out of nowhere. Like, stories like this and like, things like that come from somewhere. And in this case, there is a story behind Bloody Mary that this came from. So after you say her name, she's supposedly supposed to come like you're supposed to like see her in the mirror because you're in a bathroom that's why you're in a bathroom and she's supposed to be either carrying like a dead body or like she's supposed to say like she's coming for your body or something like that now this may be a folklore but in reality mary bloody mary is actually a real person she's part of royal and she was known as queen mary the first this was the first queen of england actually the first queen like reigning in england so basically she really wanted a child to give birth to a child and she was pregnant she was very happy and then out of nowhere it kind of stopped like the sensation of, I don't know what the wording is, but basically like her stomach was getting smaller and the doctors kept extending the date of when she would give birth. Out of nowhere, she just never like gave birth. This was believed that Mary was actually never pregnant. I guess I have no idea what I'm doing. After she ended up not getting pregnant, people were very confused and nobody had an explanation for it. So this is when science believes that this was when the first case of the, I don't know how to say it, pseudocysis, which is basically your mind plays tricks on you to think that you're pregnant when you're actually not pregnant. And like people like I truly believe that they're pregnant, but they're really not. And so their body starts creating the hormones and stuff like that. Because that could really happen. Your body believes something so strong. Your brains, our brains are such a powerful thing that you actually start to create the hormones of pregnancy. You start maybe like getting a little bigger. And so she could have been in a state where her body was creating these things and mind you this was a very long time ago the first queen mary queen mary the first so a very long time ago the first queen of england to reign and they didn't have very like high quality things to take pregnancy so honestly the signs that our brain can give off for pregnancy is what we would have been able to sense back then it's a very like messy story i know the way i told it was very messy if you go on other websites i'm sure you can get a lot of the better um more like impactful information this is just the gist of it of course the reason why she comes to your mirror and says she's gonna take your body or is holding a body is because they say it is her dead child because not much long later she said she was pregnant again but they did not give birth but this is why when children go into the bathroom because mainly children that this story is told to and they chant their name you can see mary because mary wants your your body she wants you because you are the child she never had i'm also sorry i'm drawing i'm using a plastic straw i have a metal straw but i can't use it for frozen coffee because then it just gets stuck in there the next folklore i guess you can call it i'm going to be talking about is the loch ness monster 
this story is actually very fascinating to me. And it's one that I believe out of all of these, this one I believe the most of. It has to do with animals and water. Our oceans are like not even like fully, I think we're only, we've only explored like 10% of the ocean, maybe even less. Basically, I'm sure you guys know this story as well, but to give a background for those of you that don't, there was this sighting of this huge momentous movement in the water of the Loch Ness. In, it was in Scotland, and um, basically the Lake Loch Ness was seen moving like a lot, and they're like, what else can move this except a big ferocious beast? And then there were sightings, the story just continued to unravel and unravel. But you see, with this animal, another thing that convinces me and may convince you is that there is actually a dinosaur that looks like they think Nessie looks like, and it's called the Plesiosaurus. It was a dinosaur, and basically it swam in the water and it had like a lengthy neck, and it was like, hey, bitch, I'm here, okay? Basically what they think that Nessie looks like, so they think that the Plesiosaur might have survived through the meteor and everything like that because it was underwater, and that's why they think that we can't find it either because it goes so deep under the water and it hides and it blends that we we can't find it. Honestly, we will never know the full story of it. The full story, I would give like a full gist of it, but the problem is it, this creature was just like over time the story is collected. You see one person or three people like have sightings on this one location and you keep having sightings and then you have pictures, you know, being seen fr from it and then you have other pictures being shown that are actually fake or like driftwood and you actually never know. And that's why the story just continues to go the story really has no start other than just the first appearance, which was around the 1870s. Other than that, there's not much more I can go into it because it is just a hearsay kind of situation. Like, unlike the Bloody Mary story, the Bloody Mary story has some uh, history to it. But this story is more like, oh, there was one sighting at one time and then there kept being sightings and so people were like, oh, you know, kind of thing. Now we're gonna go to the next story, which is where I'm from and it is the New Jersey Devil. This story was so fascinating to me as a kid because it sounded so like supernatural and like crazy. Basically, this is a story of a devil. Well, more or less. So basically there was this woman and she kept having pregnancy. She had like 30 freaking kids. She had like a lot of kids. Her 13th child and she kept getting pregnant and her 13th child, she basically cursed it. She didn't want another kid. So she prayed uh, that her next child, her 13th child, 13, scary number. I don't know why I did that, that's six. She prayed to God that it would be a devil. And when it was born, it started sprouting hair everywhere and like a big nose and big wings and all that. And it flew, it like, and then it attacked the mother and killed the family. And then it flew out of the chimney of the house. And now it is said to scour over. The forest is called the Pine Barrens and that's the name of the forest that, you know, it was in. It's kind of like the Chubacabra from Puerto Rico, but not really. It wasn't really fang, it was like its claws kind of thing and it would kill like a lot of domestic animals like dogs and stuff like that, cats. And it's like really warned like to be like weary of this uh, this monster because it's said to, you know, kill uh, people too because like pack them up and like, you know, like really scary stuff. So if you ever go to the Pine Barrens in, in New Jersey, make sure you watch out because you might be in there. Now, the final story that I'm going to be talking about is about the abominable snowman. Yes, yes, yes. This is like the most common one of them all. The abominable snowman is another version of the Yeti or I think another name of the Yeti and another version of Bigfoot, but in the mountains. There you go, have a No, but that's basically a gist, like it is basically folklore passed down from the Himalayan um, people, the people that lived in the Himalayans. There was this big beast and full of hair and white and just uh, ferocious, uh, made weird noise, noises that they heard and they were freaking out. And a lot of people don't believe in it because in the mountains, like with low oxygen levels, like a lot of people like can go like crazy and stuff like that. But you have to remember these are also people that like lived in those areas for years and were born in those areas when you're when you're living in a certain area and you're born in there and you grow up in that area you are you get accustomed to those kind of vibes they honestly so that's why that's like a reason against it is that when you're growing up in the area you wouldn't be affected by it <clears throat> i don't know what i'm saying anymore i'm so tired guys you can also see that there were pictures of them spreading, kind of like a Loch Ness. Even the New Jersey Devil had some pictures spreading, and it kind of, it looks really creepy if you look at it, like, very close. You're like, oh my god, it's like, what if they actually encountered that? 
then you also have the fakes that were proved to be fakes. And maybe one day there is such a monster, like the world is so big. And this, just like the Loch Ness, doesn't really have much of a history, it's just based off of folklore told by the Himalayan people and in Nepal and all that, and it just spread out and it, and it became a thing. And then, you know, they started seeing the regular, um, Bigfoots, I guess you can say, like in the regular like area, like forests and stuff like that. And they were like, oh, that's the cousin of that. Like an other animal has like the, like the Arctic fox is the cousin of the regular fox. Like they're related kind of like the abominable snowman, Yeti, is cousins like, you know, with the regular Bigfoot kind of thing. So they were like, maybe this is more viable. Like it's an actual kind of like creep different types of uh, settings. So they have different types of looks. There are so many like scary, like spooky, like, folklore kind of creatures and I want your opinion about these to discuss in the video but I also want to know if you want to hear any more stories about any of them I know I'm pretty bad at telling stories I'm also kind of in a rush right now like my videos are not always very organized um I had fun talking to you guys about it because honestly I don't I always find this type of stuff very interesting so I really hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys are actually interested in these if you want to hear more about one individual I can always go more into depth about it and if you guys were interested for that make sure you leave comments below for any ideas or any suggestions so much watching make sure you guys like subscribe keep your heads up high and I will definitely be seeing you guys next time <laughs>